Bricks. We're doing a, a quick update here. Hey, Both, uh, hey, how do we follow up? I open you know, it. Mr. One Time, you know how we do it. <laughs> uh, we talking about the playoff picture is set. Mm -hmm. Last night was the finale. Yeah. Playoff start this Saturday, the 20th. Mm -hmm. Eastern Conference, man, we talking about, uh, I think the most intriguing uh, uh, matchup is going to be New York and Boston. Yeah. Um, I'm actually sad to see they got to play each other the first round, to be honest yeah. with you. Right. Uh, but, those two teams, yeah. that I, I think, can challenge the Heat, though, too. Yeah. Our only hope really now is Chicago because they, they, they're, they're, they're the 4 or 5. Either Chicago or Brooklyn, because mm -hmm. the four or five play the winner one eight. No, and not not. No, <sighs> I know that's not, that's not so, happening at all, at all. If Brooklyn is the yeah. winner, <laughs> man, hey, Miami will be dancing over the Brooklyn man. Bridge, man. Seriously, that's 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 a wrap. But it's it's right. like so many different players or things that can play out. You know, in in a playoff series, man, things have to go right, but then your stars have to shine. Yeah, you know, we, if you're talking about, you know, Boston, New York, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, Garnett set a lot mm -hmm. the rest of the regular season. He should be healthy. Yeah. You know, Melo set out the last game uh, mm -hmm. of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, regular season. Mm -hmm. He won the scoring title. Right. So we're talking about two veteran teams, a lot of veteran players on each side. I I can see this going seven. But because of Melo, I'm going to give it to New York. To win that series. I honestly, I mean, and some people might jump on me or jump down my throat. I actually see this game going no more than five, six games Ooh, in New, New York? York's way. No I more than five? I, no more than no more than five. I see this going whoa, five. Whoa, no man. more than five. I'm not this this year. Boston like I feel that. like that's I feel like Come this is the now, this man. is a bad matchup for Boston though. I mean, you got a lot of young guns. Boston granted they have the defense and Garnett should be well rested and everything. But New York, man, they score they score points regardless, man. Do. You know, you let guys like, you know, J.R. Smith heat up. You let, you know, um, Carmelo Anthony will come out and throw 44 on you, 45. Like, it's, it's nothing, you know. Now, granted, he, you know, Boston's defense and different things. But we, we I think we stick to that stigma, that stigma and that tradition of these teams being these teams and they just going to be that way, you know what I mean, regardless, you know, year after year after year. I really feel like Boston, I don't – they don't they don't match up no, well no. at any position. I really don't see Even them – Avery Bradley can play D. Jeff Green can give you some offense. Yeah, they, look what he did in the regular season, dropping yeah. that forty. They play great. They play great uh, team I'm, I'm defense and everything like that. I feel man, like it's I the. I feel like the Knicks is coming through really this year. I feel like they're they're a dark horse. They're my dark horse in the, oh, yeah. in the Eastern Conference. You know, Chicago. Everybody's still holding it out for them, and you know, maybe Rose or without you know Derrick Rose. Back, but, yeah, if he's not coming back, which is back. you know that that's really sad. I feel bad for that team, Very that sad. Chicago team. They work hard the entire season, even without him mm -hmm. you know to get them in the position that they in right now and he's still sitting out and not going to play yeah. I, I feel bad for that team when you have a teammate like that that won't step up and, and get on the court and unless he's he's sure you know <laughs> put Shaquille O'Neal under me and if I can jump over him then I'll come back in but I want to make sure I'm, I'm dunking at maximum my maximum he said potential. I want to be able to dunk off the left foot man get out of here yeah so but he's been medically cleared to play for the Two or three months now? Yeah, he's 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 he, I don't know what's going on with him, bro. Right? I have no idea what's going on with him, but I see him on commercials every day. You know, I see him shoot arounds all the time looking yeah. like, man, come on. I know good, good and well you can be at least it yeah, maybe man. even if you don't feel like you can be the number one option, which I think can be you can at least be a two or three. Yeah. Man, you can definitely help and contribute and, and you know, help your team out. So I feel like that's pretty much a you know, a bust, really. He really just blew the entire season. I don't know what they worked hard for. Do you think they can get past the, the Nets without him? Uh, I think they can get past the Nets, definitely, without But what's, what's, what's to say about, you know what I mean, say about that? And then even if he come back and say the, the second yeah. round, you know, I don't think his head is right. Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't want to play with a guy yeah. like that. Like You're a not, guy that's yeah. been sitting out for three months when he's been cleared right, to play, right. and he's saying he want to be able to jump off a certain – no man, come on now. You know now. You know a lot of people take precautions. I I, I see with you know Kobe, you know killing himself. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. And it's trying to take that last stride, and it just it just gives out. But I mean, three months to yeah. nurse it, even after you were cleared to play, and I'm sure he had the best doctors. Every man, warm ups, everything. He's he's <laughs> man, you can play. So I feel like Chicago, they they're not going past the first round. So. It, it's right. a given. New York is the the dark horse. I see to unseat the Heat. Okay, so you got 
New York to take out the Heat. Clearly, we already know they're probably going to sweep Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. Maybe win in five. Yeah. Then we got, uh, what, Indiana and Atlanta. That's a toss-up to me. Yeah, I think that'll be a good game. Yeah, I think that'll be actually a good, a good series. I, I see that one going seven. Yeah. I don't see one team that got a leg up over yeah. over the other one. So that one should be a nice, you know, yeah. nice series. You get a chance to see a lot of young talent and stuff like that. Paul George, you know. Huh? Yeah, definitely. So that'll be a that'll be a good game. You know, it'll be an in, interesting, you know, Eastern Conference. But I think people will really just be holding their breath, mm-hmm. waiting to see who's going to play Miami because mm-hmm. that spot is pretty much locked in. Mm-hmm. And you know, the wild card is, you know. You know Chicago and, and Derrick Rose, and that's the only thing that the Eastern Conference have to you know to hope for, to hope that we get a good you know. You never know, man. I mean, Brooklyn. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna snuff Brooklyn, man. Mm. They do have Brook Lopez, who's a dominant player down low. The dude did average pretty much a double double all year mm. when he's healthy. Joe Johnson, he's the problem. If he wake up, I mean, he has the second highest contract in the league. He got to wake up and play like the old Joe Johnson back in Atlanta, because yeah. Derrick Williams just turned it on. Mm. I mean, if you could score Miami, keep up. Like I said, they got Reggie Evans, Brooklyn, bang them, bang them in the post and get rebounds. You never know. That's really how you stop Miami. Yeah, I mean, Miami is just a little bit too. I think they just have way too much yeah. firepower, really, in that backcourt. I mean, you throwing Brook Lopez. I mean, you got Chris Bosh that can at least you know play them defensively. Just stretch them out too. Yeah. So I mean, I think it's gonna is that's that's just gonna be hard. That's really just gonna be hard. Because I don't think Miami, with the, how active they are defensively and playing, they're going to be all over Brook Lopez. So I don't see him really being able to stop and play his game and everything. That, that's just not going. Miami is just just. You have to see. They they every time you see them, they you know iced up half of the game. You know, they, <laughs> they just obliterating teams. So. so most likely we we're gonna say New York Miami East yeah. Finals. New York Miami. Okay. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going with, in my opinion, anyway. We'll be back to talk about the Western side of things when we return. It's the Bricks.